Hello everyone, in this particular lecture we are going to learn about bind call and apply in JavaScript. Well, the bind call and apply help us to control the this keyword, right? This keyword inside a function. Let's see that how it works step by step. So let's start. Now let's first start with the call function, right? So call function calls a function immediately with the specified this context and arguments which are passed one by one as you can see here your function name is there and then you are calling it with the help of call and inside of this we are having a this argument what is this argument basically this is a specified this function right so we pass this context as basically as a argument but not take it as a parameter we will understand it with the help of code and then we are having the arguments one by one. Let's understand that how it works. So it is very easy to use. Just, uh, just need to focus that I'm creating a object. And inside this object, I'm having a name that is, let's say, uh, Piyush. Right? Yeah. Now, I'm creating another function that is function greet. And I'm taking two different arguments here that is age comma city right now what I'm going to do is that uh, whenever this particular function will get called uh, I want to print console.log and I will write hi my name is My name is something right i have not used okay first i need to put a back tick here right yeah and then inside this template literal uh, i'm not writing it here some anything i will tell you later that what i'm going to do and then h years old living in dollar and city right okay now while calling this particular function greet what i need to do i have to give some argument right but since i want to give this particular object as a this specified object or a argument for that what i need to do is that after writing the name of the function just write dot call and then inside of it first you need to give this argument which is a person right person then give the arguments like 2045 uh, and city like mumbai right yeah now as you can see here i am giving this person object as a argument but not taking this particular argument as a parameter here but still i can use it how let's see when you pass it as an argument it with the help of this call method it got inside this particular function and you can use it using the this keyword that is this dot all the keys here like this this specifies this person and then we will write the name right now if i go to my console let's check yeah i'm getting the name Hi, my name is Piyush, 45 years old, living in Mumbai. So, where this particular Piyush is coming? This Piyush is coming from this object, right? And this object is passed inside this particular function with the help of your, what? Your, this specified context, right? So, this saves the memory of your particular function, right? Yeah. So, this is how it is done. Now, let's come to the apply. So like the call, it also works the same, but the only thing which is different is that the argument are passed as an array, right? So the thing which we were doing here as a, basically as one by one, that's we do here as an array. Let's see, let's see, let's take this same code here. Let's copy it down and make it comment and paste it here. Fine. Yeah. Now rather than giving it one by one 
we just put it inside an array and then if I go to my console you can see I'm getting all my result fine is there something wrong or I'm okay I need to apply right write the apply okay fine now you can see it is working fine hi my name is Piyush 45 years old living in Mumbai right so when you put an apply here you can share the data in the form of an array right yeah so uh, this is the only difference your apply has and with this you can share the data in a very clean way with the help of this square brackets right and it will work as the same now let's come to the next topic that is bind how this bind work well bind context but do not call the best thing about bind is that it returns a new function it returns a new function with a specified this context what does uh, a new function means well if you see at the syntax here I'm calling the function name I'm applying the bind and everything is same like the call but I'm storing that particular function inside a new function because it always return a new function right it it don't get does not call the function immediately right it uh, you can call it later means the moment that if you see here the moment I applied like I write grid dot apply it got run on my console right but when I do the same with the bind it don't get applied or run immediately how it is done let me show you let's take an example of it a very easy example uh, there's nothing uh, very messy about it let's write const and greet later equals to I will write the function that is greet and then put the bind here bind and then I put a bracket inside this bracket I will give the this specified context which is the same right I will comment it down I'm using this two thing right this object and this function and here I will write what I will write the name of the object that is person and then I will give all the specified arguments let's say 25 comma city let's say anything Mumbai right Mumbai now will it work like here uh, the moment we applied it got uh, printed in my particular console but will this will show the result in the console or not let's see no I'm not getting the result why because it has written a new function which got stored inside this great later right now for making it in use or to see it we need to call this greet later function so let's call this greet later and now if you go to your console you can see your result so this was something which different about your bind right so if you want to see the difference between all three you can see here the features call apply and bind so your call get executes immediately yes apply get immediately yes but bind don't get executes immediately right so in the call your arguments are comma separated in the apply it is in array and in the bind it is comma separated right and your call returns the value as the result of the function apply result as a function and bind a new bound function right it was returning a new bound function which you are storing inside a variable right yeah now use case is what instant call with context instant call with array arguments and to save function for later with context and this was all for about today's video I hope you understood the all three different features very beautifully and easily and uh, I hope if you li uh, like this video then definitely hit that like button also and click on that subscribe button to get the daily updates and all the content from our channel thank you so much for watching till then goodbye